A motor boat whose speed is 18 km per hour in still water takes one hour more to go 24 km upstream than to return downstream to the same spot. What is the speed of the stream? So here we have two scenarios. Scenario 1 where it is down. Scenario 2 upstreams. And now let's let's write down what is the distance given to us let's write down whatever is given to us first that is 24 kilometers is the distance traveled so i need to write that down so it's 24 kilometers both the ways 24 kilometers all right the next thing what is the speed of the stream so we don't know the speed of the stream Let's take it as x. So speed of the stream both the sides is x. Now, what is the speed of the boat given to us in the question? That is motor boat whose speed is 18 kilometers per hour. So the speed of the boat given is 18 kilometers per hour. So speed of the boat is 18 kilometers per hour. All right. 18 kilometers per hour now what do we need to find we need to find the speed of the stream what is the new speed so here we are going to calculate the new speed for the downstream and for the upstream what is happening in downstream stream is the river flowing or the water flow the direction of the water is always downwards whenever you're talking about the stream the direction of the stream is always downwards what is the boat the direction of the boat in the downstream the boat is going downwards and here in the upstream the boat is moving upwards so here you have two opposite directions you have the same directions in the downstream and you have uh, different directions in the upstream so obviously when the boat is traveling in downstream when the boat is traveling down the speed is more and in the upstream it is taking more one hour one hour more to go 24 kilometers upstream it's taking more time to go upstream because it takes more effort and it needs extra speed extra time to go up okay so what is our new speed let's write down new speed new speed is equal to 18 plus x 18 is the speed of the boat and x is the speed of the stream and they both are in same direction so that's why you have plus sign and here what will be the new speed new speed is equal to 18 minus x why do we have 18 minus x because they both are in opposite directions so you will have the speed of the boat is in opposite direction to the speed of the stream so you have 18 minus x going upwards you have 18 kilometers as the speed of the boat minus x as the speed of the stream okay so what do we basically have let me write down here you have same direction same direction of boat and stream it is the same direction of boat and stream that's why the speed is more speed is more <clears throat> and so we have the speed is sum so what will be the speed speed will be the sum of boat and stream the speed of boat and stream all right and here what is happening that's what i have written 
same directions of the boat and stream speed is more speed will be the sum of boat and stream and here speed is less because they are in opposite directions opposite direction of boat and stream so speed is less so speed is less here yes and here the speed was more when it is flowing downstream because the speed of the stream is also added to the speed of the boat two speeds are working together here the speed of the stream is flowing downwards but the boat has to take give much effort to go upwards it takes effort so speed is less so what is this speed speed will be speed will be difference difference of boat and stream this is just for your understanding what i've written speed will be sum and speed will be the difference of boat and stream because the speed is less here speed is more it needs extra it needs extra speed here needs extra speed and as well as it needs extra time to reach that because it is taking more efforts yes okay so what did we do in scenario one when the boat is going downwards and here upwards the distance is same speed of the stream we have taken x speed of the boat is 18 kilometers per hour new speed we got 18 plus x because they both are in same direction speed of the stream plus the speed of the boat both are added so you have more speed more speed you add add the speed of the boat and the stream and here you have same new speed as 18 minus x because they are in opposite directions and the speed will be less because this river is flowing downwards and your boat has to cross the river upwards and it takes more effort so it needs extra speed and extra time so we take the difference of boat and stream whenever it is going upwards positive downwards negative opposite directions the signs change same directions signs remain same okay now this if you have understood you can easily form the equation but what about the still water when we are talking about the still water it said the motor boat whose speed is 18 kilometers in still water what do you mean by still water the water is not flowing it is still so how would you calculate the speed the speed of boat now we are talking about the motor boat speed of the boat in still water in still water will be it will be d plus u by 2 what is the downstream downstream speed of boat yes downstream speed of boat we are talking about boat so it's downstream speed of boat and what is u it is upstream speed of boat so this is how you calculate now what about the speed of the stream speed of the stream is both speed of the stream will be d minus u by 2 okay now this this was about the still water what i'm going to give you an example for example now time taken for upstream let me write down okay let me write down okay so what what happens for the time uh, let's calculate the time taken for the upstream and the time taken for the downstream you know speed distance time how can we calculate speed distance time you just have to remember the triangle where you write speed distance and time and what is speed distance over time what is time distance over speed and what is distance speed multiplied by time so here we can easily calculate 
टाइम इज डिस्टेंस ओवर स्पीड फॉर बोथ वट इज द टाइम टेकन फॉर अप स्ट्रीम्स लेट्स राइट आउट टाइम टेकन फॉर द अप स्ट्रीम इज इक्वल टू वट इज द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड वट वट हैव यू गोट फॉर द अप स्ट्रीम लेट्स राइट आउट फॉर द अप स्ट्रीम ट्वेंटी फोर किलोमीटर्स सो ट्वेंटी फोर किलोमीटर्स डिवाइडेड बाय स्पीड सो यू हैव न्यू स्पीड वॉज एटीन माइनस एक्स लेट मी राइट डाउन एटीन माइनस एक्स ओके वट अबाउट द डाउन स्ट्रीम टाइम टेकन फॉर द डाउन स्ट्रीम इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस इज सेम ट्वेंटी फोर किलोमीटर्स यस ट्वेंटी फोर किलोमीटर्स स्पीड वॉट वॉज द न्यू स्पीड वी फाउंड एटीन प्लस एक्स So let me write down 18 plus x. Now what do we do? You have upstream and downstream. So downstream, uh, in this, the difference between two scenarios is one hour. It takes one hour more to go 24 kilometers upstream. Is that right? Now, for example, suppose I will just take time, time taken for upstream now this is just for you to understand time taken for upstream and i equate to time taken for downstream now when you want to equate now it is taking more time to go upstream if suppose it is taking 5 hours and it is taking less time 4 hours for downstream to go downstream so where you need to add something to make it equal you need to add to downstream plus 1 so that it becomes 5 hours this is just for an example that's for you to understand so here we have 24 over 18 minus x so what are we going to do time taken for upstream is equal to time taken for downstream and uh how much time it is taking more one hour more so let's add one more one hour more to the downstream to make it equal yes so let's write down 24 over 18 minus x is equal to 24 by 18 plus x plus 1 now let's bring this term this side so you have 24 by 18 minus x minus 24 by 18 plus x plus 1 so this is what this is more right this is more this is less so there is a difference obviously the time taken now the difference between these two scenarios is one hour downstream is more and upstream is less so we have upstream minus downstream which is equal to 1 all right now let's take out the lcm so you have the lcm of 18 minus x into 18 plus x so you have 24 into what is missing here 18 plus x and what is missing here 18 minus x which is equal to 1 Now let's solve for that. <clears throat> so you have twenty-four times eighteen. That is equal to four hundred and sixty-two plus twenty-four x minus into plus minus four hundred and sixty-two minus into minus plus twenty-four x divided by. Now this is in the form of a minus b. Into a plus b. Now that's an identity. Yes, if you all remember, that is a square minus b square. So you have eighteen square, eighteen square minus x square, which is equal to one. So four plus four sixty two negative four sixty two cancels. Twenty four x plus twenty four x is forty eight x is equal to eighteen square. Now let's cross multiply and send this whole term the other side. So you have. 18 square, which is equal to 18 square minus x square. So you have 48x is equal to 18 square is 324 minus x square. Now let's bring all the terms one side. So you have 
x square plus 48x minus 324 is equal to 0. Now let's find out the factors for 324 and use product sum rule. So you can have 54 and 6. The difference between that is 48. So let's write down x square plus 54x minus 6x minus 324 is equal to 0. So let's split this, take out common from that, x common, so you are left with x plus 54. Then from here you can take out minus x common, so you're left with x minus x plus 54 is equal to 0. So the two factors are x minus 6 and x plus 54 equals to 0. So what are the values of x you get? x is equal to 6 and x is equal to negative 54. Now speed cannot be negative, right? So what is our answer? What is the speed of the stream? It is x is equal to 6 kilometers per hour. Yes. So this is the speed of the stream 6 kilometers per hour. So hope you enjoyed this question. You understood very well. If you have any comments, you can write it down in the comment section. Thank